Hi everyone, my name is Kim Van Dyke. I'm one of the brand specialists at Audi Royal Oak. Today I'm really excited to show you the Audi Q450 e-tron. It's all new, we only got it last week. We have been waiting for this vehicle for almost a year. This is the 50, so there are two other variations that are available um, internationally. It's the 35 and the 40. Canada is only getting the 50 version of this vehicle. It's the highest horsepower and it is all wheel drive. So let's start off by going through the exterior of the vehicle. So as you'll notice, it's a little bit of a new color for Audi. It's called pebble gray. It's a non-metallic color, so it's a flat, uh, flat gray. Kind of looks like Nardo, if, if for, for those Nardo gray lovers out there. Um, ultimately, there's four colors available in the Q4 for 2023. Pebble gray, Navarra blue metallic, Mythos black metallic and glacier white metallic. It's only four colors, guys. The front grille is one of my favorite features of this vehicle. It's very Audi, it's very modern, it's very sleek, um, but it's not a grille in the true sense where it's not actually ventilating any air, as obviously you don't need to cool an engine. Uh, the Audi four rings are actually flush to the grille, so it's a little bit different design than Audi's done in the past. There's actually a radar sensor beneath, those, uh, beneath the rings that work to control your adaptive cruise control and whatnot. Coming over to the corner, your standard LED headlights and daytime running lights with the option of a customizable daytime running light um, depending what you want to do. So that's brand new. There's also the four little Audi rings which is in the inside uh, top corner of the light which is really neat. This particular vehicle has got the upgraded 20 inch wheel package. It is optional otherwise you are going to get a 19 inch wheel as a standard feature. Moving up to the all new designed side folding mirrors on the Q4, it's all based on drag coefficient and to make this vehicle as um, energy efficient as possible. And that stays true to the entire design of the vehicle coming all the way back to the end to our taillights. Coming around to the back of the vehicle, you're going to notice a solid red light strip on the back and we've got some Audi 4 rings detail on the, on the side taillight which is really interesting. Also on the bottom, e-tron is embossed in the lower bumper. Um, this also too is the, is the standard roof line of the Q4. There is the sport back that is available in Canada as well. This particular vehicle is a standard roof line, just an FYI. Uh, beyond that, let's get into this vehicle and take her for a drive. So getting inside the vehicle, I can assure you, it's just so quiet and smooth. Even just hearing cars honking, it's so much more muted inside. It's very impressive. So there's two driving modes. One is drive, D and the other mode is B, brake mode essentially. Um, brake mode is more your one pedal driving scenario which you may or may not be familiar with. Uh, you're rarely going to actually touch the brake with that mode. Um, that mode the car is actually going to, as soon as you take your foot off the throttle, it's going to immediately brake. Um, which I found extremely annoying with the vehicle because it's something that's so alien, it's so different than what you're used to when you're driving. Drive mode is more uh, akin to what you're already used to. So you got your foot on the throttle, you take your foot off the throttle and you're still, we're coasting. Like right now my foot's off the throttle and we're just coasting. I prefer that. And then you can control your brake regeneration via the paddles, left and right paddles that are on the steering wheel, um, left and right or plus minus. The plus paddle actually decreases your brake uh, regen, regen and then the minus paddle actually increases your brake regen. So it's actually counterintuitive. So with this vehicle, it's going to come with a level one and two charger. That's all ready to roll for you. We're going to hook you up with Rocket EV. They're going to come to your house and set up the charging station prior to you taking delivery of the vehicle. Um, Audi Canada is currently offering a $1,500 home installation credit to you as well. So essentially you're not going to be paying for the, the home installation. I haven't seen any of my customers pay more than $1,500 to get it installed in their garage or home, um, which is great. So that's on now. And that is level one and level two. Level one is your 110. That's just plugging your car into like any, any old outlet, which would take forever, obviously, for the car to charge. Level two is very much like your dryer at home. It's a 220. That's going to give you a full charge essentially overnight, more or less. And then it is DC fast charging capable. You will get uh, two years of unlimited fast DC charging with this uh, purchase of an e-tron um, at all Electrify Canada networks. So Electrify Canada, um, have, they have stations all over North America. There's an app for it. You just download it, create an account, and you have that unlimited for two years. 
Also, which you may or may not know, the Q4 does um, qualify for the federal ISEV rebate. So you will get $5,000 off the vehicle as long as you purchase it uh, or lease it for a four year term. If you lease it for a little bit less, uh, that credit kind of varies a little bit, but yeah, 5,000 bucks off, which is really great. The Sportback version, it doesn't qualify because it's over the $60,000 MSRP. Um, so unfortunately the Sportback won't qualify for that. Going back to the battery. So it does have an 82 kilowatt sized battery. You're getting usability of about 77 uh, kilowatts of that just because you never want the battery to be, super, you know, right down to 0% or right up to 100%. So you're kind of really only using 95% of the battery. Okay guys, let's do this. So getting into the vehicle, one of the coolest things uh, about the car, you get in, you put your foot on the brake and it's started, it's ready to roll. Put the vehicle into drive and you hear that really cool humming sound. So here's the interior of the Q4 e-tron. It is unlike anything we have, it's so cool. Uh, you might've seen videos and reviews online. First and foremost is this flat bottom and top steering wheel, it's so cool. Unlike anything else that Audi's done in the past, it is optional here in Canada. Otherwise, the, the round steering wheel is still something that you can get. Um, the free-floating kind of center consoles, also totally new, kind of resembles the A3 S3 interior in a way. Um, but underneath, you can charge your phone. You've got USB-C connectivity underneath there. All the AC buttons and your heated uh, seats are still analog. They're still tactile buttons, which I think is amazing. And then you've got your touchscreen MMI, which is true to the rest of the Audi lineup still. Your Audi virtual cockpit right behind your steering wheel. That's nothing really new. Again, very same shape to the A3 S3. And then we've got lots of storage, lots of storage in the door. We've got a really great spot for water bottles inside both of the driver and passenger door as well as rear. And then this panoramic sunroof. So you do have the blackout shade as well as the glass, which opens halfway. The buttons are super cool. Uh, you kind of just slide um, versus uh, the click of the, of the existing vehicles. So that's kind of something that we had to get used to. We kind of had to figure out how that worked. Um, those are some key points of just the interior. The vehicle does have the foot activated tailgate, which is standard. So here's our cargo area. We've got loads of space. All three seats go down individually as, for, as, as most of our other vehicles do. We've got a rubber cargo liner underneath here. Now you're probably wondering what's underneath here. So we do have a little bit of storage. This is the charging system that's actually gonna come with the vehicle at purchase. Um, we help you install that in your home and garage as well. Enough room to actually put the privacy cover underneath actually fits. The last thing I wanna talk about is DC fast charging. You can fast charge this vehicle from 5% to 80% in about 38 minutes at a DC fast charging station, such as a Petro Canada here in Calgary. And that's about it, you guys. I mean, there's so much more to talk about this car, like so much more. There's so much I could talk about. I really want you to come in, book a test drive. We are booking them in advance. We're not taking walk-ins on this. Um, my name's Kim Van Dyke. I would love to show you the car myself. Um, we're just super excited about it. Uh, you'll have all of my contact information um, through our website and obviously through our YouTube channel. And we'll see you at the next video.